I'm Brett Stover alongside Aaron Taylor. Qualifying Group 2 is continuing their quest. Only two of the six men will earn a spot in the final, but first they must take on this next event, the deadlift. Well, this static lifting event will test the strongmen's strength and endurance as they have 60 seconds to lift an 800-pound car as many times as possible. That's a heck of a task. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, from the United States of America, John Lane. From Goodyear, Arizona, the American John Lane. Representing Norway, John Olaf Granli. And John Olaf Granli, who is currently in fifth. Both of these men have a lot of ground to make up. You see John Lane using those Giants Pro straps to help him grip that bar. It will help him throughout this competition to lift. He's also wearing shoes, whereas Gronley, to his left, is in his sock. Down! Down! Lane looking nice and strong. Down! Gronley struggling a little bit. Look at his leg shake. Down! John Lane cranking out with six. Take a knee as well. Brent, this isn't a conventional deadlift because the apparatus allows the athlete's legs to be able to help them more because they can lean back into this car. But Lane's legs fail him there. Finish! Finish! Six times John Lane was able to lift the car. repetitions from Norway. John Olaf Granley. Able to get three reps. Here's the six repetitions from the USA. John Lane. And John Lane sets the pace in this event with six. Really nice effort by Lane. It was Granley who struggled from the beginning, having more heart than strength towards the end. But Lane, he was powerful and strong with Ladies one consistent motion throughout. From the United States of America, Nick Best. The next two men to go are Nick Best, who is in fourth after three events. Representing Poland, and Gregor Szymanski. Gregor Szymanski. And he's the leader after three events, the 320-pound Polish man. Are you okay, Czechos? Are you this okay, could be guys? Nick Best's yeah, ready, best event. Lift. His lower body is extremely powerful. That first rep looked pretty easy. He really is a bulldog. Shemansky looking strong as well. You'll notice Best stance is quite a bit closer than Shemansky's is to his left. Guys are, are shoulder width apart, but his feet are much closer together, Nick Best. And Shemansky playing through the pain that left shin of his, drawing some blood as the front of the bar scrapes it. Form is so important to keep your body aligned so that you maximize your strength and output to lift that 800-pound car. And Nick Best is setting the pace in a big way. Six was the best before it, and he's going for 12 as Shemansky struggles for a ninth. That's where those legs come in where they're both leaning back, trying to get that lockout, and Best with his 12th round. So it's 12 and 9 here in the final five seconds. And that'll be it for both of these men. So Ladies Nick and Best. With 12 repetitions from the USA, <laughs> Nick Best. Able to double up the previous high water mark. And with nine repetitions from Poland, Czegor Szymanski. And both of those guys, give them credit. Because that was impressive. It sure was. And Nick Best with that tight base. Digging deep, it takes all you have to lift an 800-pound car 12 times. And then it was Gregor Shemansky on the other side. Nine impressive reps. Look at the strain on his face. He gave it all he had.